Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? All right, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. The gate's unlocked. You can head inside I'm when you're ready. Pikachu, you thunderbolt! Pikachu, you thunderbolt! Pikachu, let's do it! I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? That's the wrong answer. Last thing the Blackbriars need around here is some troublemaker trying to steal a piece of the action. The Blackbriars have Riften in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back, so keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Pleasure doing business with you. So what do you want to know? Do I look like a merchant to you? You're gonna have to take that up with Vex in the Thieves Guild. Get in good with them and you'll find her. The only thing I heard is a rumor that a boy named Aventus Aretino in Windhelm has been attempting to contact the Dark Brotherhood. He used to live here in Riften at the orphanage on the other side of town, but I think he ran away. Can't say I blame him. You kidding? My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. Well, you got Maven. She pretty much runs the whole operation. She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's also got ties to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild. So basically, no one can touch her. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know. Mm-hmm. 
This temple is dedicated to Mara, and the light of love she shines on us all. I'm only a humble acolyte, though. If you wish to avail yourself of Mara's blessing, you should speak with Denya Balu or Mara. Mara. All right, then. those eyes you got. We are devoted to the goddess Mara, who gave mortals the gift of love, that they might have a hint of eternity. Her blessings are many. To love is to know the true nature of the gods. Not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, almost a girl. Her fickle love must resolve itself. The village of Iverstead. The woman, Fastred. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. I find your hand in my pocket, I'm going to cut it off. Are you the one sent by Mara? You have to let Astrid follow her heart. You can't tell her what to do. My parents are being impossible. Bassianus wants to marry me. And I think I love him. But he wants to move to Riften afterwards. And my father won't allow it. He only cares about this stupid town. But Bassianus makes me happier than anyone ever has. My mother's not any help either. I don't want to choose. They're both so amazing. You're the one cast those illusions? My daughter's driving me crazy. So they call it the path to the monastery to 7,000 steps. Can you imagine? I'm not certain if I could even make it to the top without collapsing from exhaustion. I'm sure I know what this is about. She thinks she's in love with Bassianus and wants to leave town. With him. Let me tell you how I see it. Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels for Clinic. Wouldn't stop talking about him. Now, if I thought she was really in love with Bassianus, that would be one thing. But she's a child. It will pass. Look around here. There's not much left. Used to be a good-sized town. But folks have been moving to Riften for a while now. If all the young people leave, what happens to Iverstead? You know how children are. Her fancies change with the moon. And like always, the boy lacks any kind of spine. We'll need some convincing. A little push and this would all be simpler. Just get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone.
You must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No other reason to pass through here. Oh my. Probably something about the men. We all wish we had our problems. I don't tell my husband, but I don't have any problem with Vassianus. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead, I want Fastred to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. Fastred, I wanted to talk with you. What is it now? Wilhelm said he saw you. Vassianus is still so terrified of Yoththor. If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take Fastred to Riften without a second thought. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be well, happy. It's frightening living below their monastery. Sometimes I swear I can hear strange noises rolling down from up there. It sounds like thunder, but there's never any rain. What do you make of that? Honest pay for honest work. Sure, leave. Everyone else does. On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. I wish passing through on your way to High Hrothgar. About to make a delivery up there myself. I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Oh, Fastred. I'm not sure what happened. One moment she's smiling at me, the next I can't even meet her eyes. I'll bet Bassianus would know what's going on. He understands women. What did you call me? Wait, you mean I should just tell her? Tell her how I feel? Ismir's beard, you're right. No fish was ever caught by staying away from the shore. I'm off to see her. Oh, 
Hallo und Nähe, Berlin hat was. Who's Pears? Hallo, mein Freund. Was kann ich für dich an so einem schönen Tag tun? Ich dachte, es war schön, dass es eine Leier von dicken Klauen gibt, die den Peak der Mountain von dem Monster gibt. Ich bin nicht sicher, was da drin ist. Aber ich weiß, die Greybeards wissen. My father taught me an important lesson in music. He said, Willem, you have the whole world before you. Go out and experience it. Be whatever you want. So I took his advice, and here I am. This life might not look like much to you, but be content. Isn't that all that matters? Have yourself a great day. Smell the air. Isn't it wonderful? Huh? I used to be a Pinchero like. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. Mara is the handmaiden of Kine, the goddess of the storm and the mother of men. She is the bearer of love and the patron of marriage. If you wish to make a donation to her benevolence, speak to Maramal and ensure your true love will endure for all eternity. How wonderful. Like the sea, their love roils and swells, but brings life and nourishment to all. I see you are eager to carry the light. As you venture, Mara fills my mind ever more with visions of love in peril. Embers lie nestled in stone, needing only fuel to bloom a flame that will warm all around them. Go to Markarth. There you'll find Kalsomo, wise, acid, and reclusive. Help him to emerge and state his intentions. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. The ruins underneath Markov? The wealth of artifacts that I've based two human lifetimes of research on? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the glimmer in all of Tamriel. 
and you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work, and I, and I shouldn't have yet. How can I help you? Yes, their history and culture is all around us in Markov. A race of stonecutters, artisans, and engineers. They invented machines and built elaborate underground cities where they researched powers to rival the gods themselves. And then, at a time we are still not sure when, they disappeared. The whole people, all at once, leaving behind only their works. Persistent, aren't you? Oh, very well. Who am I to stand in the way of curiosity? I'll let you in if you agree to something for me. There's a giant spider in the chewing cell. My workers call her Nimi, the poisoned one. If you deal with Nimi, I'll let you into both the excavation site and my Grunner Museum. What do you say? Enthusiasm! Good. Here's the key to the big site. To protect my research, for one, there are more cutthroat scholars out there who would steal my findings if they got the chance. And the excavations into Mishuanzel are dangerous. Wormer machines and traps still function, even after thousands of years. I was beginning to lose faith that any help would come. Ah, you see, I've been thinking about Feline quite a bit. You know Feline? Then you know what a beauty she is. The trouble is that I can't seem to speak around her. My mouth goes dry, and, and I start to shake. I could never hope to approach her. That may be the case, but she is as vulnerable as a saber cat. One wrong word, and I've seen her turn on a man so quickly. There is one, Ingo, who is quite popular with the ladies. Thankfully, Feline is not quite as tired, but they've been friends for some time, and he may have some ideas. Please, ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. Bloody enough for you, outsider. Then you found your home, friend. Blood and silver are what flows through Markarth. Welcome. What? Why? Are you interested? Calcimo, is he interested in Feline? That sly old codger. I should have guessed. Good for him. For the both of them. Between you and me, she could use a bit of warmth. As for what she might like, I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. You know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems come in handy when wooing. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. Are you prepared to receive my golden words? Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. 
You should probably just take this directly to Feline. Wouldn't want the old ice brain stumbling over the words. I work for the Silver Clubs, I'll be paid. See the yard. I have things to study. What is it? This is more than I could have hoped for. Have you really done this for me? I have to see her. Please excuse me. Oh, goodbye. 
Don't like those eyes you've got. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. The goddess smiles at your efforts, child. The dawn shines bright upon you. You have seen the young, fickle love of youth and helped a more seasoned love find its way. There is one final aspect we wish for you to explore. For a strong love can withstand storms and even survive death. Take this symbol of Mara. She will guide you to the wandering souls of two whose love was so great that their entwinement binds them to this world. May you carry the warp.
Rookie, where is she? We're expected to fight there tomorrow. Joker elected to camp here for the night. I don't like it, though. Our fires are visible for miles. We're in a low valley. Sitting ducks. If she's come this far from home, it must be important. Lead on. I just need to report back to camp by sunrise. Did you welcome yes. her benevolence? See ya. What is it you seek, my child? Your efforts have helped illuminate the entire province. I trust by now you've achieved a higher comprehension of love. Carry the 
the blessings of Mara with you so the rest of the province may shine with her glories. Riften is drowning in a sea of sin and wickedness, and it's my personal mission to let everyone know that the warmth of Mara can see them through. All I need is a messenger to bring her words to these poor souls by distributing these missives. you give out every single one. We can't afford to let even one... Almost anyone in Riften is in dire need of those missives. Speak to them, child. You know who will listen and who will sin. A word of advice. Keep away from the Keep and the city guards. They follow their own path and have already forsaken her. You represent Mara now. Set an example. Hmm? Mm -hmm. hmm? What do you want? Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. I could take a hint, lass. You want to make some coin? Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the handmaiden of Kai. No, no, Marmo. We talked about this. Taylor? Kira, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. Enough, Marama. We've all heard of the dragons and their return. There's no need to use them as an excuse to harass our customers. Very well, Talon. I'll remove my s blessings of Mara upon you. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara on the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive the most to embrace, love, compassion, and understanding. It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these dark times, but you should consider her light a beacon in the storm. Of course, I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We need all the help we can get. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. May We're you return to her for and safety. Just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all sing in peace. Welcome to the Bee and Bar, my lady. If I can interest you. Interesting. I'll look it over. Thanks. I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Blackmarsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but 
All I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Three, in fact, they're my own recipe. Brought them over here from my days as a bartender in Gideon. First is the Velvet La Chance, which is a mixture of blackberry, honey, spiced wine, and a touch of nightshade. Perfectly safe, I assure you. Second, we have the White Gold Tower, which is heavy cream with a layer of blended mead, lavender, and dragon's tongue on top. Last, and only for the bravest of souls, we have the Cliff Racer, which is firebrand wine, syrodilic brandy, flint, Sujama. They're vermin. Garbage. They're exactly what makes this city such a horrible place to live. How appropriate they should live in the rat way with the rest of the trash. Disgusting. Ruined sewers filled with goodness knows what. There's an entrance down by the canal, but I'd highly advise you to stay out of there. It's the Thieves' Guild's territory. Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both? If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. So get out of my face. Glad to see you finally came to your senses. Ready to make some coin? Why hire a common soldier to protect you when you can have a master of the arcane? Why some kind of coin? You can roast Otherwise, hit the mark. What can I get you? Meat? Wine? Look, the only religion I believe in is the good old septum. Everything else is just a waste. Sibby Blackfire is furious that his ex-lover tried to murder him. He's leaving no stone unturned searching for her. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty ladder. Say Fallian of Morthal has studied vampires, Drawler and all manner of undead. Of course. I don't have any business with you, so get out of here. Get out of my face. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. I don't have any business with you. So get out of here. I don't have any business with you. So get out of here.
This is for you. I'll show you to the right this way. anything else you need. For work, I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Ah, well, I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Ah, you're a smart woman. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. I hold my own beliefs, but thanks again. No idea. Whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when associates of mine have been locked up. No, I'll meet you outside of town. I'll meet you outside of town. Welcome to the I presume you're bothering me. Excellent. I needed some more kindling for my kitchen hearth. Don't tell me. Sibby and Louis Latrush? Well, Sibby is in jail, and Latrush is certainly welcome to try. My hired help is more than a match for him. Really? Now that is interesting. Then you should know that. Long plans for now. I'll keep an eye on you both, and when the time is right, I'll settle accounts with you. There's something I can do for you. What in the name of oblivion do you want? Of course, nothing gets done without my approval and the I have the Jarl's here and the guards in my pocket. Anyone makes trouble for me, and I pay a visit to the Make me angry and I contact the dark brother. You do well to remember that the next time you make such a stupid observation. 
I believe we're done. Yes. <laughs> You're not. Mara this, Mara that. Where is she when hundreds of storm clubs are dying for no good reason, eh? They mean to take our history and crush it all in the name of some damn treaty. The soil beneath our feet is steeped in the blood of our ancestors. We've fought for this land and died for it. I lost my own daughter to the Imperial Dogs. And by Talos, I'll not lose anyone else. Lelia joined the Stormcloaks many years ago, when the first of the skirmishes broke out across Skyrim. I was so proud of her. She served as a battle maiden, using her healing arts to help those that fell on the battlefield. Never even lifted a blade in her life. It didn't matter. The Imperial soldiers cut her down, killed her like a dog, and left her body to rot in the mud. And that's why I won't rest easy until every single Imperial soldier joins her, and Ulfric sits upon the throne of Skyrim. Support Ulfric or die trying. There's nothing in between. What do you want? Clinic brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks, when the weather permits it. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. <sighs> what a boring conversation. Sure, sure, I'm to oblivion with all of you. What a Rich piles of dung walking by us like we're not there, pretending we don't exist. How dare you? You think you know? Oh, thank you. Divine? Bless your kind heart. The fairest prices and the highest quality. All right, then. Purchase a bottle of my genuine farmer blood elixir. Can I interest you in some fine goods from Morrowind? Mara can't help me. No one can. I may be Dark Elf by birth, but I was raised Argonian. For reasons I'm still trying to discover. I ended up orphaned and taken in by a kindly Argonian family in Black Marsh. I hope one day to find out what happened to me, how I ended up like that. Just one. I know when I was found by my Argonian father, I was wrapped in a blanket bearing the symbol of House Telvanni. It was one of the great houses in Morrowind long ago. Whether that means I was one of them or not, I'm uncertain. If you come across anything in your travels that might provide me with the answers I'm looking for, I'd be grateful. Thank you. Anything you have anything you wish to sell? I pay fair prices for all sorts of goods. I learned that a matron who had served for House Telvanni had escaped Morrowind during the Accession War. Records showed her barring passage aboard a sailing vessel named the Pride of Telvos, but that's where the trail ran cold. I spent years looking for what became of the ship, but I ended up empty-handed. Anything you can find would be of great help. Good if luck. If you're looking for a handout, you'll want to speak with my husband. Are you serious? You're as crazy as Maramal. Excuse me. Over here. New around Rifton? Take my advice. Stay at the B and Bar. The bunkhouse isn't for you. Huh? Oh, sure, whatever. I prefer Debella's teachings myself. Of course not. You expect me to take care of it by myself? My niece Vanna helps me with the chores. She'd be more help if she kept her head out of the clouds. She's been with me ever since her parents were killed by bandits and she was dropped in my lap. I don't know why I bother. You gonna, you gonna stare all day or buy some armor? 
Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Goodness, Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? I do. Sadly, I'm one of the few traditional Saxlil jewelers that remains in Tamriel. It's becoming a lost art. Only trouble is gathering materials has become hazardous. The roads to the mines and to the other cities are thick with bandits, and worse. Would you be interested in gathering some materials for me? I'd certainly be happy to compensate you. Thank you, Landstrider. I'm seeking a small list of items to complete my next creation. Two flawless sapphires, a mammoth tusk, and a chunk of gold ore. Not well, I'm afraid. That Brynjolf, he keeps draining the people's pockets with his ridiculous miracle cures. A few months ago, it was Troll Fatsav, and now he's got something new. Not that there's anything that can be done about it. He's in good with the Thieves' Guild. Safe travels, Landstrider. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Thank you for the blessing. I'll put this to good use. People say I'm making gold off of other people's misery. But what else would I do? Smithing is all I know. Next time one of my shields deflects a killing blow, they'll change their tune. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Smithing's been in my blood for generations. I owe my success to my forefathers and their recipe for flame. The secret is my forge. It consumes fire salts, a strange mineral that burns as hot as red mountain lava. Well, it was. Sadly, this forge is dying, and I've used the last of my fire salts. If I can't feed it soon, it may grow cold. You will? Thank you. Ten pinches of fire salt should give me all I need to bring this forge back to life. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The forge knows the difference. Whatever you're peddling, I'm not buying. <laughs> My family. All that wealth and they squander it on foolish ventures and political schemes. I was meant for so much more than all of this. I wish to pledge my life and ply my talents in darker circles. If only my mother would let me, I would make her proud. It's exhilarating to observe the effects of my potions on the body. Watching the heart stop, the eyes go blind. We're made up of thousands of parts with thousands of different functions all working in tandem to keep us alive. Yet if only a single part of our imperfect machine fails, life fails. It makes one realize how fragile, how flawed we are. You ask why I'm so fascinated? The irony. The irony that the same world that gave us life provides us the means to die. I'm aspiring to earn that title, yes. However, the road ahead is paved with loose cobbles and deadly pitfalls. Master Elgrim says I'm a natural, that I have a unique talent, but I fear his approval masks his intolerance for my mistakes. My errant formulas have cost Master Elgrim a fortune in ingredients. Some of which are almost irreplaceable. To restore Master Elgrim's supply, I would need 20 Death Bell, 20 Nightshade, and 20 Nernroot. Am I sensing that you may be interested in gathering these rare ingredients for me? That means more time for my experiments and less time in the field. Much appreciated. 
My experiments can't be completed until you've brought me those ingredients. Do hurry. This bed. Where's my head? I never even greeted you properly. I swear if I wasn't around, Elgrim would forget to eat his meals. How will he make any coin at all is beyond me. In fact, I need to arrange for someone to pick up an ore sample for me in Shore Stone. Goodness knows Elgrim won't have to think to do it. You would? Oh, that would be wonderful. Speak to Filmyar in Shore Stone. He's got some sort of ore sample he wants us to identify and was willing to pay us well for it. When Elgrim said we were setting up shop down here, I told him he would catch his death. The dirt, the moisture, is disgusting. Who wants to spend their life living like a skeever? But that old bellyache just fed me some nonsense about light ruining his mixtures and being close to the water. Ah. I know how to mix a few basic potions, but I'm nowhere near as skilled as a master alchemist. I've picked up a few tricks by reading the tomes scattered all over the shop, but I don't have the knack to pull off half of the formulas. I wish Elgrim had spent more time tutoring me than that England girl. Oh no, I didn't mean it that way. Elgrim can barely put on his own shoes, let alone have the energy to pursue a young girl. He's been gushing about how talented England is at alchemy. He'd never say it to her face. That's not his way. I just think Elgrim's taken it upon himself to mentor the young thing, so he focuses a lot of attention on her. Hmm, never read anything from the temple before. I suppose there wouldn't be any harm in reading it. Be careful. The road to Shore's stone could be dangerous. You here for lessons, like Ingen? Or did you wish to buy something? I've no time for Marla or Mara or whatever her name is. There's work to be done. Well, the moisture in the air is better for the ingredients. It isn't every day that you get your hands on fresh nerd root or painted troll fat. It also makes it easier to gather water when the canal is right out the front door. Besides, I also prefer the quiet. I didn't open this business for browsing. Come in, buy what you need, and get out. Hardly. In fact, I don't know how I get anything done with all the distractions I have to put up with. My wife, half York, well, she's a necessary evil, I suppose. Not a lick of talent when it comes to alchemy, but she keeps me fed. Then there's Ingen Blackbriar. Bright young thing and a worthy apprentice, when she isn't wasting my rare ingredients. Yes, yes, goodbye. I run the meat and produce stand at the market. Come by and see me if you want some of the freshest food you've ever eaten. I picked up a trick from a butcher in Elenir, a small town over the border in Hammerfell. He showed me a way to grind up ice wraith teeth and use it as a preservative. Keeps everything cold and fresh, but only for a limited time. I'm always looking to replenish my supply, so if you ever come across five of them, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. Thanks. I was actually worried I'd run out. Be careful looking for those teeth. Those little bugs Trees. Are dangerous. Seems like a noble cause. I'll look it over. All right, then. Can I help you? Oh. 
small forest makes me miss my childhood. Sorry about the mess. Keeping this place clean is quite a... Thank you. Um, blessings upon you, too. Work? I suppose you can call it that. I call it slavery. I work my fingers to the bone keeping this disgusting place clean. Ever since my parents died and Helga took me in, it's been a nightmare. How was I to know she was such a wretched woman? So now I'm stuck living here, while those pigs she calls customers grope me and say the most awful things. It's not just the work, it's everything about her. She's disgusting. I think she takes her worship of Debella a bit too seriously. Do you know she slept with three different men in the last month alone? What kind of woman would do such a thing? Just for once, I'd like to see her squirm, to rub her nose in it. Actually, there is, but I don't think I could get away with doing it. She'd kill me if she found out. You see, I happen to know, after she makes love, she gives her partner a token of her affection, called a Mark of Debella. If you confront her with three of the Marks, she'd be so embarrassed. Well, I don't know what she'd do. Oh, this is going to be great! You need to get the Marks of Debella from Boli, Hofgreer, and Indarwin. Not sure how you're going to do that, but try your best. Then just confront Helga with them, and the rest works itself out. Try and get those marks without violence, please. If you're looking for a bed, you'll be responsible this is the wrong for their deaths. Please help me. I'm going to lose my job at the Ripton Fishery. I wouldn't even clean my tail with this trash. My job at the Ripton Fishery is in danger. The owner, Molly, said that if I show up for work in this condition one more time, then I'm out. I don't mean to do this to myself, but I can't help it. I tried some skooma a year ago, and ever since then, I can't stop. If you could give me a healing potion, I could cleanse this poison from my body and get back to my life. Thank you, my friend. I'm not sure what it's made from, but I can tell you that once you've had a taste, you'll never crave anything else. Dunmer came up with the stuff a long time ago. Very illegal and very hard to come by. I got mine off a merchant ship in solitude. Worst mistake I ever made. Bully is a good man. He pays us well and watches out for us. I used to work at the Blackbriar Meadery, but in Darren and I never saw eye to eye. That elf has no patience at all. It's probably for the best anyway. I'm far better at fishing than working in a meadery. Any trees. Trees. Reminds me of autumn. Working at the Rifton Fishery is tough, but it puts some coin in my pocket. Oh, interesting. I'll read it this evening. Remain vigilant and don't trust anyone. So what if I have a problem? I know how to deal with it. Mara only helps those who can afford her ties. This is nonsense. Until next time. Did we have an appointment? No. Was a delivery? I can't remember. It killed several soldiers before. Yes, I could use some help with that. An assistant, perhaps? No, no, no. Maybe a familiar. No, too messy. I've also 
Well, at any rate, organization is not my strong suit. Not at all. I need as much help as I can get. In fact, if you could retrieve a few things from me, I could start on my next set of experiments. As you can imagine, I tend to forget things often. Leave things around. I really must learn to put these things away. What I need is my Dwemer stirring spoon, my Orichalcum ingot, and my Grand Soul Gem. In fact, I could use them immediately. Bring those items back to me, and I'll be happy to experiment on you. No, no, that isn't right. I'd be happy to reward you. Excellent. I can't wait. Well, why are you still standing here? Someone actually interested in what I'm doing. Amazing. Well, allow me to explain. My experimentation involves a magical construct and a reagent that will allow the construct to maintain a field of permanent harmonic energy. Aha! So, you're a student of theoretical applied harmonics. Putting aside Ralston's constant of universal inversion for a moment, how would you approach the problem? Draw the harmonic energy into the reagent, or allow it to generate its own field. Calipers? That's utterly ridiculous. Maybe long ago you could just find calipers in every household across Tamriel, but not anymore. Hold on. You've given me a brilliant idea. Just as calipers hold materials in place, a soul siphon can hold magic fields in place. Genius! And I'm sure you've completely worked out how to counteract a complete dimensional collapse, right? Are you completely insane? Swallow a soul gem? That has to be the most brilliant and unexpected solution I've heard in a long time. It solves all of my problems and keeps the field stable. Now all I need... Wait, what were we talking about? Okay, now where did I put those spiders? As Yar Leila's house guard, I would ask that you maintain a respectable distance from her at all times. I'm keeping my eye on you. If this isn't about official city business, you're wasting my time. Uh, until next time. Welcome to Riften. Sir. Welcome to Miss Belki. I'm Yarl Leila Stewart. What can I do for you? Welcome to Riften, home of the Thieves' Keep. The Thieves' Guild used to run this city. Are there nothing but braggarts and bullies rotting to death down in their rat way? So what if I have a problem? I know how to deal with it. You caught me at a bad time. I've lost someone dear to me. Not really my usual read, but I'll give it a try. It was my sister, Lilia. She served as a battle maiden with the storm cloaks. We recently heard she'd been killed. I... I find it difficult to talk about. 
Perhaps you'd be better off speaking to my parents about it. Anyway, I'm glad my work at the Black Briar Meadery keeps me busy. Helps me keep my mind off of things. My father was a Stormcloak soldier in his younger days. Now he just walks the streets spewing his hatred and propaganda. My mother is the priestess of Talos. She tends to the shrine and teaches his ways. I'm just not so sure she's delivering the right message. Don't mistake my political beliefs as a substitute for my family values. They're still my parents, and I love them dearly. I just think they've let my sister's death skew their outlook on Ulfric and what he really brings to the table with this war. I'm not so certain that Ulfric's intentions are as noble as they think. I think Ulfric cares about Ulfric, and the rest is a smokescreen. I'd appreciate if you kept my opinion between us. The last thing I want to do is have my parents lose another child. Yes, actually. I'm partnered with Maven Blackbriar. I put up a chunk of the gold she needed to get the place off the ground. We've been staggeringly successful so far. In fact, I'm almost surprised how quickly she's generated business for us. My name may not be on the label, but some of my blood, sweat, and tears are in every drop. Uh, figuratively, of course. It's been good talking to you. I'm quite busy. Need something, or can I get back to work? You're crazy. How dare you make such an accusation? Word gets around that I bet it. They'll lose all respect for me at the meadery. Take the mark if you want it. It's not worth all this hassle anyway. What's this nonsense? Bah! Lady Maven could buy or sell anyone in Skyrim. I wouldn't be surprised if she's the one pulling the strings around this city. She's always welcome in this Vale Keep. Between you and me, I'm pretty sure she even has some pretty influential friends within the Empire. I'd also warn you not to cross her. She employs quite a few troubleshooters to take care of messy problems. Maven Blackbriar wants me to keep the mead flowing, and that's what I aim to do despite all these lazy good-for-nothings that work for us. Ever since I took over as a foreman, the production of our mead has never been more profitable. And if the meadery is profitable, I'll get rich. Get the picture? Good. Now maybe I can do that work. I'm the brewmaster around here. What did you want? Don't like those eyes you got. There's a bad hunger to them. Welcome to the Pond Frog. If only more people would read this. 
Things might be better in Rift. I... something? Blessings of Mara upon us. Trouble? my friend. Oh, splendid. Just splendid. Mara smiles upon us this day. Allow me to give you her gift. A true blessing to aid you in times of need. Despair not. Her warmth will protect you always. Good journey, my child. Name's news. Can't just throw the big logs on the fire. Gotta have a little bit. You need anything? Come see. Until me. next time. I'm his res. I have a lot of respect for Ambar's friend R. But his views are a little extreme. I'm a dark elf and I live in Windhelm. So yes, I live in the Grey Quarter. You must be new around here, or you'd know they don't let my kind live anywhere outside that slum. Take care, friend. I'd appreciate it if you don't bother my wife, Tova. She's still in mourning. Our little girl died recently. I've been shouldering my days with strong mead, but nothing gives my Tova peace. I've been looking for an amulet of RK to remind my wife that our child is with the gods now, but I can't find one. Please forgive my mood. Still you one of those Skyrim for the Nords types? And you're right, at least as far as I'm concerned. Don't let Ulfric or some of these other short-sighted Nords bother you. Most of us are happy to welcome newcomers. Whenever a group of marauders attack a Nord village, Ulfric is the first to sound the horn and send the men. But a group of Dark Elf refugees gets ambushed. A group of Argonians or a Kaji caravan. No troops. No investigation. Nothing. There's a group of cutthroats out there right now that Ulfric doesn't lift a finger to bring to justice. As long as they don't threaten Nord land. That's a brave offer, 
I'd be happy to throw in my coin behind that. You deal with them. I'll make sure you get paid. Maybe this old soldier will throw in some lessons as well. I killed a lot of High Elves in the Great War, and I didn't die. I guess that makes me a war hero. The Great War. There was nothing great about it. Thousands died on both sides. And where did it get us? Did we really save the Empire? Or did we just plant the seeds for Ulfric's uprising? And another war. Help the Dark Elves? Oh, you must have heard me talking to Malfir. The Dark Elves live in a run-down slum called the Grey Quarter. Ulfric's content to keep it that way. I guess they think I can open Ulfric's eyes to their plight and get him to lift a finger on their behalf. I'm trying, but Ulfric is set in his ways. For him, there's two kinds of people in this world. Nords, and the folk beneath them. Show those marauders what Windhelm justice takes. Fine. <laughs> Master, you're far too old for this sort of journey. You don't know what's inside. Uh, I'll... I can... <laughs> Just... <clears throat> you see, you're not well. Have a seat, and I'll fetch you some tonic. Now, if there was a tonic that could help me, I would have found it by now. Close to the answer. Just a man's life work is all. Finally derived the location of the white file. But this dopey busybody won't let me get it. You would do that? It's good to know there are some people out there who are willing to help an old man. It's buried with its maker. Coral Mill, in a long forsaken cave to the west of here. Coral Mill was a crafty one, even in death. You would need the skills of a master alchemist to reach his resting place. Luckily for you, I've already made the mixture. Here, take it. Please, no. <laughs> don't dally. I've wasted enough time arguing with my useless assistant here. The legendary bottle, forged in the days when Skyrim was just starting its turn to ice. A small container made of the magically infused snow that first fell on the throat of the world. It is said that the file will replenish Whatever fluid is placed inside of it. For an alchemist like myself, it is the most pure expression of my art. To create from nothingness is... Poetry. I've spent my entire life searching for it. It brought me all the way to these frozen reaches from the warm embrace of Somerset Isle. Entire years spent in libraries, seeking out tiny villages with local legends that contain but a whisper of a hint of the file. I even named my shop after it, hoping that it might attract anyone who had heard of it. And now it's within my grasp. But the eight, it seems, <laughs> have chosen me for their amusement. 
for in my current condition, I'll never be able to lay my hands on it. Why are you still standing around here? Go get me the file, you fool! My master can be a bit short. I'll never have Master Norellian skill with potions. It doesn't matter what I believe. Norellian does. And it might be the only thing keeping him alive right now. Are you kidding? I came all the way from Cyrodiil just to work with him. He's... He's not the best teacher, but... Just watching him, I've learned so much. Until next time. May the eight guide you to the fire. I have a decent mind for potions, but I've also learned... I made my fortune as a sea captain, but now I'm retired. I've been a bit... The townsfolk call me captain, because I used to be a sailor. Fair winds and calm seas. Anything you need, just let me know. All right. My day, Dagor and I have an understanding. He gives me privacy, and I make sure my experiments don't blow up his ear. No. Gods know, not for years. I left Winterhold for some time and returned to stay here at the inn. I still have research that keeps me busy, and being here in Winterhold ensures I have access to former colleagues. to leave now. You need to leave. I find your wolfish cream unsettling.
I know you. Where was it? Huh. Oh! You were getting something for me. Items? What items? Let me see those. Hmm. I'm not sure how you managed it, but these are exactly what I need to start my next set of experiments. Wonderful! Well, at least allow me to reward you for your uncanny foresight. I have to remember. Ward first, then summon. Disrespect the law and you... Huh? Over here!
May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Now that's good work. Everyone will be a lot safer with them gone. Dark Elf and Nord alike. Here, some gold is promised. And let me show you a bit about wearing heavy armor. Save you some aches on a long march. Safe journeys, sword brother. level was built, eh? No more could be placed. It was... I can almost hear them. I feel their life energy. Come, I will make the mixture. Something? Good day.
Pikachu! Let's do it! Let's do it!
My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from huh? I'll never have Master Norellian skill with potions. 